Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Got an extra special treat for you today. This is a demon figure from a company called Creature Caster. I do believe that they are in Canada, and these guys are amazing. They do just absolutely outstanding stuff. Now, one of my artists painted up four of these demons for me, and uh, he did the wings like a rainbow color, which I guess would be kind of Zinchian. And obviously this is a take on Games Workshop's Warhammer Fantasy and 40k Lord of Change. Because a lot of companies do models that are stand-ins for them. But quite frankly, I actually think this guy is better used in your Dungeons & Dragons game. <clears throat> so, um, first off, this guy is on a pretty modest base. If you look down here, you'll see it's just shy of two inches on a side, and it's roughly square. Now, normally I would mount this on a round base, but quite frankly, I really kind of like it right where it is. And by the way, if I sound distracted, it's because I'm looking for this. Oh no, that's actually not even a good picture. All right, never mind. <clears throat> so, first off, I love everything about this model. Let's uh, go ahead and get a close up here. So he's got sort of these teeth, like there's, there's mouths opening up all over his body. And even on his staff tip, or this glaive, there's this sort of toothy formation and that that is that that's real realm of chaos stuff now the original artist he painted the wings in sort of this rainbow color and i didn't it didn't really kind of click for me so i repainted them this deep sort of mauvey purple and i gave them these sort of flecks of this greenish color now that ties in with the body that's a vallejo foul green by the way which is kind of a park green it's very it's very mild, it's a very light color. I am um, very partial to it myself. Let's take a look at this guy's back while we're at it. And this was my homage to a power that this demon has in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which is the, um, well, I'm gonna talk more about the specific terminology, but it can emit spores. So I thought these were kind of like, these were my version of the spores that this creature might have. So let's go ahead and just give him a give him a once over here. Great posing creature caster is just amazing at that, giving their guys these really dynamic poses that speak to the character of the model. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so he's got what I would consider the base of a large creature, but of course. <clears throat> In the game, something this bulky and tall would be more like a huge or gargantuan creature. But, you know, if you're not really trying to play it too realistically, uh, you really shouldn't have a problem with that. So, I left him on the base that he's on. Now, this is a one-inch tile by Pathfinder, and you notice it has sort of this grid on it. Not sort of, it has a grid. Now this is what, what a large creature should look like. It's uh, two squares by two squares. And then here's a medium creature. Your heroes would typically be about that size and they would take up one square. And of course, if you scooch these guys over and you put this huge demon on here, he also fits in two squares by two squares. But of course, he's completely reasonably disproportionate and this guy's not going to fit in a room with a you know a 10 foot high ceiling but if that doesn't bother you then this is really a great figure and again that's creature caster so now i am going to adjust my tripod bear with me now it's going to be fun you're going on a journey <laughs> All right, that should be plenty tall enough. Now, the first appearance of the Vrock, V-R-O-C-K, is in the Monster Manual. I don't have a copy of a Monster Manual, but I think I'm pretty sure the first appearance of the Type 1 Demon in Dungeons & Dragons is in the module Queen of the Demon Web Pits, which, by the way, was the first module that I ever went through. 
I was in sixth grade. I went to my friend's house and the two of them uh, were playing this and they were just learning the game and I was hooked. And little did I know this would change the course of my life. So, yeah, demons of all types from the Monster Manual appear in uh, Queen of the Demon Web Pits. Of course, you have a Glabrizu here, which I think is type three, and the Hezro, which I'm pretty sure is type two. And then, of course, a Drow Priestess, or the Loth herself there. So, they the Vrock appears first in the first teleportation room where it says uh, there's no light in this room. The room is 70 feet by 70 feet and is 110 foot high. There's a door sized opening in the center of the far wall. The floor is littered with bones and refuse. In each of the four corners of the room, 90 feet off the ground is a five foot stone ledge. Uh, supported by stone buttresses. Standing on each thick ledge is a type 1 demon. As these demons are somewhat stupid, there is only a 60% chance they will use telekinesis. If it is used, a demon will draw one unarmored or lightly loaded character towards its ledge and then drop the character from a height of d10 times 10 feet. Etc. Etc. So, Guys, this is where it all begins. These awesome old Geisy Axe modules. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, in Pathfinder, everything is, uh, and in Dungeons and Dragons 3.5, everything is sort of codified a little bit better. Creatures are given sizes, and of course, they're suited for grid shaped spaces. And the Vrock is um, a large creature. And here's the version of it in the current 5th edition of Dungeons and Dragons, Varrock. And of course they have uh, an ability of spores that they can sort of shake themselves and release these, uh, these spores that create oddly like carnivorous vines that sprout out of the creature. Something like that. I'm not exactly certain uh, what it is. Yeah, spores grow into thick green vines. All right, guys, that is my uh, take on the Type 1 Demon and showing you a really cool model for it. It's a Creature Caster, and I gotta tell you, these guys just cannot be beat. And they make other demons, which I'm gonna show you, that are suitable both for Warhammer 40K and also for Dungeons and Dragons for the various types of demons that uh, exists there. And I, I wonder if there's a connection. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.